Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumo is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from the county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is one thing that is giving Azimio Lamoja one Kenya Alliance serious political headache, then it is the winning formation or the winning formula. Which formation can guarantee Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya Alliance victory over Kenya Kwanza in 2027? So far, four schools of thoughts have emerged within Azimio. The first school of thought believes that Raila Odinga is the only sure bet that of all the Azimio presidential candidates, only Raila Odinga has what it takes to defeat Ruto. That if you are to give uh, Ruto Kalonzo will be mincemeat. If you give him Mwamalwa. So they believe so. And I always read those comments on this particular platform. Then there's the second school of thought that believes that for Azimio to win, Kalonzo Musioka should be the presidential candidate. But Hilo Dinga has tried almost three or four times without success. And therefore, the only thing or the best thing Raila can do is to support Kalonzo Musioka. Then campaign for Kalonzo Musioka. And then give Kalonzo Musioka the right team. And that with that, they can easily defeat Kenya Kwanza. Then there's the third group that believes that for Azimio to win in 2027, they don't have any other option but to get a presidential candidate from Mount Kenya. So far, nobody has emerged from Mount Kenya as that candidate but their names but names are being floated left right and center there are those who believe that Martha Karua can there are those who believe that the right person is Peter Munya and we've also heard of the name of uh, the equity boss James Mwangi so they believe that if you are to remove Ruto from office the first step is to get out Mount Kenya from his corner how do you get Mount Kenya out of William Ruto's corner you sponsor a presidential candidate and then Mount Kenya will rally around that candidate and then the rest of the country who are dissatisfied with the Ruto can then rally around that candidate. It makes sense, but I'm not so sure. Then there's the last group that believes that for Azimio to succeed in 2027, the best thing they can do is that each one of them should be on the ballot. Let's say Kalonzo, because Kalonzo must be on the ballot to consolidate the Kampan nation. Relo Dinga must be on the ballot to consolidate his base because they believe if Relo Dinga is not on the ballot, then his supporters will not automatically support the person he's going to support. And then let's say Karwa or whoever from Mount Kenya is also running so that they can lock out Mount Kenya. Because they believe that with all the presidential candidates in Azimio running, none of the candidates will get 50% plus one vote. Then the person who will either become number one or number two, for that matter, let's say Ruto is number one, then Raila number two, Kalonzo number two, then the other Azimio co-principals then rally behind that candidate. But the biggest question is, what is the best formation for Azimio? The other day you saw Eugene Omalwa and Kalonzo Musioka beginning to walk in Kajiado. Yesterday, Raila Odinga Kalonzo Musioka, Eugene Omalwa, and the rest of the team were actually in Ukambani. But I heard and listened very keenly to the speech by the Kitui Senator Enokwambua. Enokwambua is one of the close allies of Kalonzo Musioka. And it was very clear that Azimio should support the ticket of Kalonzo Musioka and that of Eugene Omalwa. So that we have Kalonzo, Eugene Take, Ticket, then supported by Azimio La Moja One Kenya Alliance. So in this particular video, I want us to look at that formation and whether it's good for Azimio or not. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But before I dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity.
to thank the following people. You are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today. I'm so grateful. It goes a long way in supporting the channel lead gang. I've been missing you guys, so you can also do something if you know yourself. It's been long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. First of all, is Kalonzo Musyoka Eugene Wamalwa ticket viable? If you ask me that question, that ticket is viable. Kalonzo Musyoka Eugene Wamalwa ticket is viable. I don't want to rule out the possibility. Because politics is normally a game of numbers. So you can assume that that uh, Kalonzo Musyoka will bring the Kamba vote, which will, he will actually do. Then on the other side, Eugene Omalwa will bring the Luya votes, which might not necessarily be guaranteed, but it's a viable ticket. The two gentlemen are also acceptable. I doubt if, for example, if Kalonzo Musyoka were to be endorsed by Azimio, I doubt if majority of uh, Rally Ringa supporters will be saying no. Uh, even on this channel, there's that feeling that Kalonzo deserves it. So Kalonzo is uh, acceptable. I doubt if the lawyer nation, the, the, the coastal region, will uh, will uh, refuse. Unlike, for example, Matakaro. I know if Matakaro were to be given the ODM ticket, for I mean the Azmio ticket, that those Kenyans will say, enough is enough. They need a change from the Kalenjin Kikuyu presidency. Then, of course, Uhuru factor is also a main factor in Azimio. So I'm sure Uhuru can easily support Kalonzo. He can easily support Eugene. So that ticket, of course, Eugene Nimutu Uhuru. In 2013, Uhuru really wanted Eugene Omalo to be his running mate. So which means they still have something which they can pursue. And of course, Relu Dinga can support the team. So the team is viable. The team is acceptable. They have the Uhuru Kenyatta support. Relu might support him. And of course, we also agree that as things t stands today, the only challenge for Azimio is the winning formation. Because for Kenya Kwanza, they have failed. The economy is doing badly. The church has left them. And of course, I'm going to do a, a critical analysis why the church is going to bring William Boto down. Mount Kenya is disappointed with these guys. So just like the other day, uh, Jeremiah Kioni was clear that Mount Kenya is dumping Roto. But where are they going to? So those are the questions. Of course, you know, they've made they made promises to Kenya. And most of those promises are yet to be fulfilled. And their main running call during the last election, which was the hustler narrative, is already dead. So the truth of the matter is that as we go for 2027 election, Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance has an advantage. The only problem for them is crafting that winning formation. So can can Eugene Omalwa, Kalonzo Musyoka ticket, easily succeed? That is the biggest question. For me, that ticket is going to face serious political challenges internally and externally. The first challenge they are going to face is the ODM factor. You know, if you look at it critically, of all these political parties within Azimio, ODM party is probably the longest and the largest political party in the Republic of Kenya, for that matter. If, was, if ODM party will not produce a presidential candidate, what are you going to offer them? Are you going to produce the presidential candidate and produce the running mate, but offer as a meal the entire cabinet? <laughs> you know, the truth is, Eugene Omalwa ticket and that of Kalozo ticket can work. But where is ODM party? ODM party is the dominant party. You can't convince me that a dominant party will just agree to support another party and another party as a running mate. It can't work like that. Of course, they can repay the, the debt. Kalonzo has supported Raila Odinga, so they can repay that debt of Kalonzo. But then they'll tell Kalonzo, when you supported us, we offered you this. What are you offering? So for me, for Kalonzo Musioka to succeed, he must figure out how he's going to reward Azimio. No, sorry, ODM party, especially. And for me, the running mate, Nairobi is not, to be, not going to be in question. Mombasa is not going to be on question. That is the only way. That WAP is going to support ODM in Nairobi. 
Wapi is going to support ODM in Mombasa? Wapi is going to give ODM the running mate slot? That is going to mean that Omalwa is going to be out of the equation. But if Omalwa is going to be in the equation as a running mate, then I see challenges. And I've been wondering, why do you think William Ruto was supporting the bipartisan talks? Because of the proposed prime minister position in it. Because by having the position of a prime minister, then in 27, William Ruto himself now has more carrot to dangle to the supporters. So in that case, if the bipartisan talks will be there, will be implemented, then it means Raila Odinga can then be made the prime minister of the Republic of Kenya. But that is something that will only happen if the bipartisan talks is implemented the way it was envisaged. So that is the first headache for this for this group. I don't know how they are going to surmount it. Number two <laughs> is the game of numbers. You see, politics is a game of numbers. William Ruto is currently just waiting for one thing. For Raila Odinga to declare that he's not going to be on the ballot in 2027. If Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot in 2027, I can guarantee you William Ruto is going to take the war right to the doorsteps of Raila Odinga. For example, in Nyanza, that is what his team are telling me. I've talked to several of their members from Luan Nyanza. They tell me that they're only hoping and praying that Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot because they know for sure that the mountain has gone. But if Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot, then they can venture into the Luo nation, they can venture into the coastal region, and probably try to venture into the Luya nation. So, Kalonzo and Eugene Omalwa, if they were to get that ticket, the first thing they'll have to deal with is how are they going to deal with the numbers from Azimio strongholds? How are they going to convince Azimio, I mean, ODM supporters to automatically support them. <laughs> yeah. Number three, which is also very important, Eugene Malwa's ability to rally the lawyer nation. You know, lawyer politics is very interesting and very funny. They have subtribes. The Bukusus, the Maragolis, the I don't know. There's there, there's several subtribes there. Where does Eugene Omalwa fall? For example, can Eugene Omalwa, can Eugene Omalwa's running mate position guarantee him votes in Kakamega County? Or in Vihiga County? Or in Busia County? If it's not going to guarantee the votes there, then the question of numbers is going to come into play. But if Eugene Omalwa's candidate can rally the Luya Nation, it is, it's, it's, it's finished. And lastly is the finance. Of course, we all understand that a serious presidential candidate can easily be funded. That is the truth. People will just figure out Tonaona Iroto, I mean to Chezea Sana. You see, like the other day, William Ruto was in Japan and there was that photo which he took. And I, I looked at that photo and I asked myself, really? There was no Kikuyu. I think there was only Miano, the Cabinet Secretary for Trade. And I asked myself, during Kibaki era, those kind of trips, you would have seen a serious Kiku businessman accompanying them. This time round, zero. So, the finance, these guys can say, okay, he government meant to chase us, you're no longer getting businesses, businesses they've turned into their own uh, Kalenjin Mafia. So, we want to pump money. So it, it's going to be easy to raise money. But even as you expect to raise money from others, you must have your own. Can Kalonzo Musoka fund a presidential candidate? Can uh, Eugene Omalo fund a presidential candidate? That is the question. Can they fund their own presidential bid? Like, can Eugene Omalo decide to go to Vehiga today, tomorrow Machakos, the next day Mombasa, the next day Migori, the next day Kitale, the next day Eldoret, the next day Vehiga? I mean, the next day in uh, Kerinyaga, with, with a team, without feeling it. So if they can surmount those challenges, then that ticket is viable. But for me, I doubt if that ticket can win. Kalonzo Musioka must figure out the best winning formula if he wants to run for the presidency successfully 
in 2027. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.